Alright. So here I start my drawings with a ruler. By the way, <laughs> welcome to my first YouTube like like drawing thing. So just like people, we need boundaries for our artwork. And uh, I'll just do one centimeter from the edges here. So I'll mark that with my ruler. And this ruler I bought at Michael's. One of my favorite, favorite rulers that I've ever, ever, ever used. Because it has that nice rubbery thing that allows me to hold on to it. I don't know what I'm drawing yet. I'll be looking for some references on Pinterest or books or whatever that I have. And I look for the image that has the right kind of vibe for me. The ones that I'm resonating with today. When I do art, I try not to think so much about the outcome and just focus on, ooh, I just spat on the table. Focus on just being in the art, just creating the art. Block out the world, block out other minds. The world feels heavy today. And then as I draw, I take as many deep breaths as I can. Just deep breaths and just try to live in the moment. And that's what drawing is for me and that's what I use drawing for. So I have my Pinterest pulled up here and I found this face. I really like the expression in it. So I won't draw the face as realism. I'll borrow the expression, the feeling, the vibe. See if I can capture that because this is the photo that I'm resonating with today. My vibrations of my body, the vibrations of my energy, the vibrations of my soul is vibing with this. So this is why I chose this one to do today. <laughs> I'm actually liking this YouTube thing so far, even though I haven't uploaded anything yet. Because on TikTok, as of today, I have 240,000 followers on TikTok, but my videos have to be 15 seconds or under. But I think I could take my time here. So I always measure nine and a half centimeters. And I like centimeters because there's more hashes on the ruler. And this is where I'll put my center line. There we go, we have a center line right there. So maybe we have to zoom in. So we'll zoom in, zoop, just like that. And we'll f manually focus. There we go. Next, I'll use a compass and I'll figure out right in between the eyes. That's where I want my line. Okay. And this tool makes it very easy to draw. And we have a circle right there. Easy. And then maybe I'll draw another one just because. I'm 
match my lines up right here. <laughs> I keep breaking this pencil. This is a Kuru Toga that I'm working with by Uni Uni Pencils. I got this one on sale for like seven bucks at Staples. Nice, it's looking pretty good, pretty good. So I'll just measure out here one more centimeter on the sides here. One more centimeter. Just like that. And there we go, I have a beginnings of a face right there. And next, I'll just, we'll get the eyes in here. Nice. Let's look at the nose. The eyes. The eyes are about one eye apart. Perfect, just like that. And that's how I start a face. And next we got the, these muscles that are just pulling these eyebrows. That's what I love, are these eyebrows on his face. So I'll just get the angle of these eyebrows. And then I might just, just hash them out a little bit here. And then we got the tears, the tear, like, I don't know whether you call this part in the eyes, but you got like that tear duct. Oh, and then we'll get this eye socket here like that. We got the shine in the nose right in the middle, so I'll circle that. And we have a face here already. So let me shade the bottom of the nose here. These guidelines make it really easy to have things semi-symmetrical, right? Huh. This is something that I started to do mm, like two months ago. Usually I just freestyle it, but when you put it into the computer, when I scan it in to make NFTs with, or however I need to make it digital, and then if I flip it around, sometimes it all gets messed up looking. So, <laughs> to avoid that, now I just use kind of like these guidelines to help me. Because sometimes we have one eyeball that's more dominant than the other. Yeah. So I'm happy to be on, on YouTube finally. Finally, finally, I'm using my nicer camera here. I bought this T7i like years ago, but I've never used it. I mean, I used it like one time. I tried to do like this vlog thing and I thought my life was interesting enough for YouTube. And uh, I gave up very quickly. <laughs> so without my TikTok followers pushing me to do a YouTube, I don't think I'll be here without y'all. So if you're following from TikTok, thank you for being here. And TikTok hasn't been paying me a lot, so like the creator fund, it does not pay much at all. Not much at all. So maybe, maybe on YouTube, we can do a little bit better. Because I quit my job to do art, not to do content creation. Content creation just seems to happen. Um, and I've been making a lot of friends online. It has been awesome. Been awesome, awesome, awesome. And next we got the mouth here. And I kinda 
see like this angle. So the angle of the shadow tells me where this mouth is going to begin and end here. Right here. That looks pretty good. So let me use my compass here. Just to straighten things out. And I don't worry about this hole because when I digitize this artwork. It's going to like disappear. There we go. Looks pretty good. Next I'll grab an eraser. I like my biscuit eraser. Little biscuit, look at that. So I definitely want the top lip in here. So right here I see the top of the lip. So I'll make this line. Follow the contours of the lips and just shade them in lightly. Not making any super final guaranteed decisions yet. Just playing around with this face. Eventually creativity is going to find me. Eventually, my brain is going to just relax enough to allow me to slip in the flow state. And when I'm in flow state, that's where the magic happens. When I'm in flow state, that's where I can connect with people. Connect with myself. Because art is intuition. Intuition has to speak to a lot of parts of us just to be able to hold the pencil. Right. Billions of chemical reactions have to happen. There's a lot of things moving in the universe. The Earth is moving at about 70,000 miles per hour through space. We are on this rock, this spaceship. And it's hard to make things stand still. Especially our minds. Things are always moving and hasn't this been a chaotic year? It sure has. That's the fun part of the universe. We have a lot of resistance to kind of notice, not so much fight, but notice. Like the yin and yang, there's the hard to the soft. Some might call it contrast. Sometimes that's not straight at all. Sometimes there's just so much chaos and drawing kind of, kind of super focuses things for me. It allows me to become super focused. Super focused on what? Super focused on the present. It's easy to slip into thinking about the past. It's easy to think about the future in a way of fear. We imagine fear. Our minds are so, 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 so smart. that sometimes we imagine anxiety. And I feel myself imagining 
anxiety sometimes and it gets a lot of momentum and drawing helps me slow that momentum it helps me catch my mind I can relax enough to go where my emotions are pointing they're pointing at memories they're pointing at feelings they're pointing at scenarios that's either happened in the past future past or future when I draw I get to speak to my inner child I get to go to my happy places I get to just breathe so much easier I can imagine when we die and when we exit this body and by the way we are not our body we are the electrons in between all the all the cells in our body in between all the atoms we are that space in between we are that energy that's who we are but when we leave this body we're gonna so very much miss the feeling of breathing breathing that feeling that can you imagine living billions of years not being able to feel that even the simple sensations of pain so when I draw I see the right perspectives the right perspectives I'm supposed to have and when I draw my higher consciousness can visit me It can come, it can speak to me, it can help me. Sometimes I think about the outcome of my art, of what kind of life it's supposed to bring for me and it stresses me out and when that happens I have to be a little bit more self-disciplined with my mind the mind can drift into happy places or bad places I always say today is the best day that I've ever had tomorrow was the best day I've ever had. It's all a choice. For me. For me. I don't mean to sound like an ableist. I don't see how I can be an ableist because I went through it. I came out the other side of being super depressed and angry all the time and having such super, super anger issues, right? Now I'm a different person because I chose to be. I chose to be a happy person. I'm still working on becoming a happy person, but I've already decided that I am a happy mind. I am a calm mind. I am a focused mind. So you can see that I kind of slipped in a flow state there and created this base. And it felt like I only sat here for like five minutes or not even. Time just passes by so differently when I'm in flow state. It's almost like hopping into a boat, throwing, in the, throw, throwing away the oars like Abraham Hicks would say, and just float down river. And down river is where all the good stuff is. And that's where the magic happens. That's where the good things in life come from. And that's what drawing does for me. It helps me get there. I'm so grateful for so many things this year. It's been a crazy, crazy year and a half. I know a lot of people face a lot of struggles, but I'm sure everybody got the same opportunity to self-reflect. Self-reflect in their mind and take stock of the things that are important and mental wellness, mental illness, mental acuity, 
has never been more prevalent than now. We could be with our families and we were totally happy with our families and never saw anything wrong with anybody and their psyche or the way that they think and their paradigms. And this year kind of made it feel super loud, didn't it? Like, wow, I didn't know everybody was having some sort of a mental struggle. And we all do. We all do. We all do. When times are good, it's hard to see the, the bad times. And when the bad times are upon us, it's hard to see the good stuff, right? Zoom in here. Put the camera down like so. I'm really taking my time with this lead. This is a self-sharpening pencil by Uni Kurutoga. This is a zero, a 0 0.5 millimeter. This is one of my favorite pencils. It's a sharp, self-sharpening pencil. <laughs> There's nowhere else in the world I'd rather be than here, here with you. I hope you have your sketchbooks out and your drawing as well. Show up every single day for at least five minutes. I draw every single day and I started to since quarantine. I can't remember where I saw the interview, but there was this photographer who recommended drawing, I mean, photographing every single day. And he posted his work on Instagram. And just because he showed up and took photographs every single day, his skills got so much better. And I thought, would that, could that happen for me? And I would say, yeah, it has. That has very much so happened for me. You notice how I said that happened for me, not to me. Things always happen for us, not to us. I always say that to myself. Things open, always, always, always happen for us, not to us. It used, my mind used to go to the, the ladder. <laughs> things always happen to me. Why do bad things always happen to me? That's where my psyche was for much of my life. And I blamed a lot of other people and things for my mental suffering. It wasn't until I realized that everyone is doing their best, the best they can. And the more that I change myself, the more that 
other people want to change themselves to for the better. Or I wouldn't say change. Change feels like something's already wrong with the other person. I mean, evolve. Evolve. Evolve everything. Spend each and every day reaching our potential. And the more we do that, we can inspire other people to do that for themselves. Did I spend today reaching my potential? Did I spend today getting burned out? Did I break barriers in my mental endurance? Did I break barriers in my physical endurance? Did I break barriers in my relationship endurance? Did I, our minds are like a lobster and we have to feel the stress and that stress is what causes us to grow. And when we grow, we get bigger than our shell and then we come out of our shell and then boom, we have to grow a new one. And when we come out of our shell, we are, we are vulnerable. Our bodies are soft and squishy. <laughs> and it takes a little bit to, takes a little bit of time to harden up. You know what I mean? So. All right, let's get these eyelashes in. I've been uh, wanting to watch some Bob Ross lately. Maybe I can get a few pointers from watching him. You know, he just paints and talks. So I'm trying to get better at painting and talking. I remember when I first started doing TikTok, I was talking to myself mostly, except for this one kid. He would hop on my show once in a while. His name is Pooh Corn Kid. What an amazing username he had. And he would like talk about his dog and uh, sometimes these little kids will hop in and talk about their dogs too and what medication that their dogs are on. It seems like most dogs are sick nowadays. Like what? And it's just, I don't know, it's just funny. Just funny. And those are my audience at first. And then looking back. I just, wow, I'm so grateful for everything that's happened this year. I kind of like the shape that I have going on. It's like the face is coming out almost like water or milk, it feels like she's coming out of a bath of milk. Milk, malt, milk. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy that, you know, remember when I said things happen for me, not to me? Well, my TikTok account has been kind of on the fritz. I've been getting banned for all kinds of weird things that doesn't even make sense. Like I do wedded one of my favorite artists, Billy Elish, 3D artist. I do edit one of his works and even on his video, there's big red button that says duet me. And I did, I do edit the work. And then it got banned, my video, my reply. What? How did that happen? And then uh, his video was still up and didn't get banned for the same thing. It got banned for nudity and pornography on TikTok, which it had neither. There was no penis or vagina on this statue. It's just a skeleton with a bunch of skeleton angels his famous work. I was like, what was going on? That makes no sense. So I took it upon my, well, I viewed it as 
It's happening for me for a reason. And that reason might be that I should be working on my YouTube instead. And I've always wanted a YouTube channel. I just didn't know what to post. So I'm going to pull a Mr. Beast here and just post as often as I can, maybe every day on YouTube and use my secondary and use this footage as my TikTok content, right? I kind of recycle it. At the same time, you guys get to see almost the whole process of all my work that I'm going to do. I am an NFT artist. I've been selling my artwork on OpenSea.io, Rarables, and Foundation. Mm. And uh, I don't know what else to say about that. Oh, one time I sold an NFT made out of crayons. Well, twice actually. I sold two NFTs made with Crayola crayons. And for much of the first year on TikTok, I've been trying real hard to get sponsored by anybody. <laughs> like Crayola, wouldn't it be cool if I was sponsored by Crayola? That's like a childhood dream come true. But that didn't happen. They follow me, they follow my social media accounts, but quietness. There's one company, one company that's actually helped me out, which is Hippie Crafters. Hippie Crafters, Hippie Crafters, Hippie Crafters. They sent me four sketchbooks in the mail and I was so happy. So, so happy because I love sketchbooks. I love my moleskin. This is my moleskin and we'll, we'll zoom out here. Zoop. This is my moleskin sketchbook. And I love it so much. I printed off these hologram stickers, which I'm sticking on my merch. Sticking. I'm putting on my merch store soon. In case of loss, please return to your mom. Uh, rewards are chicken nuggets. <laughs> but I. I, f I filled up half, almost like a quarter of one, and I sent it to one of my fans. So this is my newest moleskin. I like to call it my foreskin, because every time I think moleskin, I think foreskin. Don't make fun of me. I know I'm immature. So I just, get, I just doodle in here. Yesterday I doodled with marker. But yeah. That's what it's all about. Art, art, art. And I love drawing with pencil so very much. Charcoal was my main medium for a long time. But pencil is the medium that allows me to show up every single day to draw. So that's the, that's my favorite medium. And I like doing these little pieces because my tension span is not that great and I get tired of a, a piece because I don't like my art, okay? I don't, but I'm starting to. I'm starting to like my art because I'm getting more of the bad art out of the way. For some people, it's the quality of art, but for me to get the quality of art that I want, I have to show up and draw more pieces. And that's the way I learn is that I have to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again until I evolve. And that's something I accepted about myself. <laughs> I wish I can get things on a first try. I wasn't always a good artist. For me, it's I have to pull a Kobe Bryant and shoot 4,000 baskets a day. That's why I sketch so much. That's why I draw so much. I'm not ready to make masterpieces yet. I'm just on the road of making 9,999 pieces of trash. Oh, I broke my pencil. Oh, don't you just hate it when that happens? That's also my fault, because I, oh my God, broke again. I draw with my lid so long. Yo, this is awesome. I mean, 
This is the best thing I've drawn all day, all week. This is awesome. All right, I think that's good for my first YouTube video. Um, you see how I have this set up on these circles, right? So what I can do is animate this so the, the face is turning around. Let me zoom in here. Turning around. Actually, we'll zoom out because I can use this for my TikTok content. Yeah, so I can animate this to go this way. All right, and I can upload this as an NFT. I just have to spend, it's like a, a piece that I can make with a lot of smaller art pieces, right? So I can have this face spinning clockwise, and then this part can be something else. All these little circles can be something else, and I can just create this composition that sits within this square. Um, yeah. I can do that. Because I have an NFT that I've done that with. I'll show you. I'll show you. And I've, I've done that here with this piece. It's also on my channel. This one I made back in August 13, 2021. It's called the Sun Queen. And it was a lot of drawings that I've been doing for a whole week. And it's just awesome. This one pushed my mind. Pushed my mind out of its comfort zone. And this is where I molted from my shell and I grew a new one. So I think I'm going to do another one of these. I made 15 editions of this and this one sold out. So this is my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite artwork and style. So I think this one can evolve into being that. And I actually have an idea. I could make this like into a chrysanthemum flower, right? Now all I have to do is draw this chrysanthemum in different layers. And this one could be spinning counterclockwise. And then I can have an outer layer here that's all, that's spinning. Well, actually, that was spinning clockwise. This layer could be spinning clockwise. And then this outer petal layer can be spinning counterclockwise, but at a rotation of two times per 30 seconds. I'll make a 30 second animation. And this one, since it's more forward, can be spinning four times, four times per 30 seconds. Right. And maybe, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this front mask. Maybe it'll be something else. Oh uh, yeah, that's what <laughs> this art can be. So thanks guys for watching my first YouTube episode to see me finish this. Please follow, like, and subscribe. And I'm going to go through all the process, take you on how I mint the NFT, but before that, how I animate this in After Effects and chop this up in Photoshop. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.